The Miami Dolphins have a lot of money tied up between the wide receivers and the cornerbacks but the WR's situation is crazy. With so many receivers on the roster as we head into July and the start of training camp later this month, the Dolphins' salary cap situation as it pertains to the position is going to look much different in another month and a half. That is when Brian Flores and Chris Greer will have to make the toughest decision with the roster. While Byron Jones and Xavier Howard are the two top paid players on the roster, Devontae Parker and Will Fuller take up the third and fourth position with Albert Wilson and Jalen Waddell ninth and eleventh on the list. Here is a look at the receivers who will count at least $1 million against this year's salary cap. Parker. $12.11 million. Fuller. $10.56 million. Wilson. $5.18 million. Waddle. $4.9 million. Grant. $4.6 million. Hearns. $2.8 million. Foster. $1.05 million. This is interesting because of course, it will change each year. Waddle's money includes his rookie signing bonus and Foster, Hearns, Wilson, and Fuller are all in final contract years. Parker's own salary will drop to $8.90 in 2022. Right now, however, with the season only a month or so away, the Dolphins are going to have to make tough decisions at the position and that could include the release or trade of Grant, Wilson, Hearns, or Robert Foster. Not listed above are Mac Hollins and Preston Williams. Hollins makes just under $1 million and Williams is in the $800,000 range. Both have decent shots to make the roster this year and Williams is considered a starter if he can stay healthy. Grant is interesting because many believe he is being released at some point prior to the start of the season. The Dolphins are not too concerned over who is being paid too much or too little at this point and they will most assuredly dump a bad salary over a good one but at some point, production versus contract has to come into play. Here is a look at the same individuals and their dead money, savings. Parker. $15.8 million versus $3.7 million. Fuller. $10.6 million versus $58,000. Wilson. $2.3 million versus $2.8 million. Waddle. $27 million versus $22 million. Grant. $1.8 million versus $2.8 million. Hearns. $2.1 million versus $766,000. Foster. $100,000 versus $957,000. Hollins. $337,000 versus $650,000. Williams. $3,334,000 versus $850,000. Whatever the Dolphins decide to do, their savings against the cap when the camp battles are over and the six or seven receivers are officially on the 53, are not a lot. If Miami were to cut Wilson, Grant, and Hearns, they would save only $6.5 million, roughly. It will be interesting to see what direction the Dolphins take at the position once training camp begins and whether or not the salary cap will play a role in determining those roster spots.